praise the name of Jesus. Wonderful time to have you join us on this program. My name is Prophet Steve Omodex, Senior Pastor, Full Armor Fellowship Church. We are located in Umoja Inako, where we praise the name of the Lord and point men to Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to have you join us once again. And I'm excited to bring the word of God to you one more time in the name of Jesus. You know what? Invite somebody, let them know that we are here and they can join us and we're going to be blessed together. I'm going to talk to us about the making and maintaining of the ma of maximum impact. How do you make and maintain impact in your generation, in your society, wherever you are, and maintain it? The problem is not making, the problem is maintaining. Straight away we go to the word of God and we read the book of Acts chapter number 17 and we pick from verse number 5, we go down to 9. The Bible says, But the Jews which had not believed, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, and assaulted the house of Jason, and sought to bring them out to the people. And when they had found them not, they drew Jason and a certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also, whom Jason had received. And these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying that there is another king, one Jesus. And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they had taken security of Jason and the other, they let them go. Praise be unto the name of the Lord. I want you to understand, child of God, that men are in sizes, but life is in levels. You see, no matter how good you are, someone must always be better than you. The earlier you understand this statement, the better. Because you need to understand that grace is dispensed in men. Men are carriers of grace. Paul says that, that uh, um, increase also in this grace, which also I am in. And so it is important for us to understand that impact is something that is very important. You are not on this earth as a statistics. You are not on earth just to add to the number of people on earth, but you are on earth to make an impact in your area of influence. God has called us diversely. There are those who are whom God has called into the ministry. Some are in the marketplace, in commerce, some are entertainment. These are what we call the seven mountains of influence. And you need to identify which area God has called you in. Whichever area it is God has called you in, you are created to make impact in that place. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us look at what impact is so that we can be able to understand. What is impact? In my own definitions, I will say it is taking steps and stretching hands and growing heights. Taking steps, stretching hands and growing heights. That is impact. That means you are not just there. You are doing something to create a change in your atmosphere. It is attracting commanding results. When you are a person of impact, you create commanding results. You see... People that are mentioned, what you call newsmakers, they don't just make new noise, they make news. And people are attracted to the rising of their glory. The Bible says that Gentiles will be attracted to the rising of your glory. That means when you make impact, there are people that will be attracted to be, uh, to, and want to be associated with who you are. And I believe with all my heart that we are created by God to make impact in our spheres of influence. Impact is also what I would call breaking records. It is also stepping out of the box, breaking limitations. There are, there are things that people don't want to attempt to do. God has given you divine abilities, ideas on how you can be able to break the limitations and do those things. Maybe you come from a home where nobody has ever done something unique beyond a certain level. You are anointed by God. Listen to me, child of God. You are anointed by God to break those limits and go beyond where People in your family have ever gone. It's also living a life of profitability and relevance. When you are a person of impact, you live a life of profits and relevance. That means you are needed at every season because when you show up, you bring solutions to the table. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when you make impact, what is the way forward? Losing the scripture. Number one, we're going to look at what I call the mindset. You can never do anything beyond your levels of thinking. Your mind, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse number 2. 
do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. People that make impact, people that turn the city upside down. The Bible says the book of uh, the book of uh, um, the book of Acts, chapter seventeen, verse number six, where where we have read that when when they 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 go they went to the house of Jason and they found these men, they brought them out. Look at what they said. The Bible says they said these men who have turned the cities upside down have also come to be with us here, and they were upset about that. You know what, Jesus was the greatest man who ever walked on earth. He created an impact that over 2,000 years, we are still lifting that name high. We are still referring to Jesus. We are still looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, even of our faith. And you know the interesting thing about this is that you are in the order of Jesus. You are, you are a follower of Jesus. The, you know, uh, um, um, if you look at the word Christian, the, God never called us Christians. The word Christian was actually a, a mockery. It was a mockery by the Jews. They were mocking our faith. They said these people look like Christ. The question is, what did they see? These were heathens. They didn't have a belief system. They, they didn't have any reference. But what did they see that they said these people are Christians? What did they see? There was a pattern. There was an impact. There was a behavior. There was something distinct about the people that followed Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why being a Christian is not just about going to church on a Sunday on a Sunday morning and putting on a dress, a good dress and a good suit. No, it is a lifestyle. It is your life is supposed to be a life full of impact. That whatever you do, you leave the imprints of Jesus. Come on, somebody say Amen. I want you to understand that number one, to make impact, your mind must be transformed. In Philippians chapter two, verse number five, the Bible says, "Let this mind be in you, that which was also in Christ Jesus." You can never be a person of impact in your sphere of influence if the mind of Christ is not in you. They can call you Christian because your life is Christ-like. Was he a man of scandals? No. Unfortunately today, we are seeing people use scandals to, be, to gain relevance. But that was, not the, that, that was not the life of Jesus. He just lived his life. People tried to find scandals in him, but they couldn't find any because he lived his life. I pray for somebody today that God is going to cause you to be a person of maximum impact in the name of Jesus. Your ministry will be a ministry of impact. Your life will be a life of impact. Your children will be children of impact. In school, they will be the best performers. In your business, you will be the one that is creating impact in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter number 23 verse number 7. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is what the Bible says. That is what the Bible says. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Hallelujah. So you need to understand God has called us to be people of impact. Number two, if you're going to make impact and maintain impact, you must be a person of diligence. What is diligence? It is careful and persistent work or effort. You are diligent in what you're doing. The Bible says in the book of, uh, I believe, Proverbs chapter 22, verse number 29, 22, 29, yes. The Bible says, have you seen a man that is diligent in his business, a man that is diligent in his work? If you see such a man, he will stand before great men. In fact, some versions say he will not stand before mere men. That means diligence creates impact that you, the, 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 the nations rise to the light of your glory. Men and women attend to you. They look for you. They demand your presence because you are a diligent person. I pray for you today. May God cause you to be diligent in what you're doing. Stop comparing yourself to people. Begin to look at the blueprint God has given you and let your, 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 your competition be your own self. Because sometimes people run out of God because they start to veer off and begin to compare themselves with other people. Listen, your blueprint is different from another person. The only thing you need to do is to fulfill the assignment that God has set before you. The Bible says, I have set before you a race. 
run in such a manner that you obtain the prize. Paul tells us, run in a manner that you obtain the prize. Men of diligence seek the Lord and they find him. When you find God, you find everything. Diligent people don't give up easily. Diligent people never settle for less. Diligent people, their, their focus is on maximum impact. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, how do you make impact and maintain it? You have to be bold. The Bible says that have I not commanded you, the book of Joshua, have I not commanded you to be bold and courageous? That you will face giants, but be bold and courageous. Be bold and courageous. Oh, child of God, I want to tell you this day, be bold and courageous. In this world, you will face people that will intimidate you, but be bold and courageous. God has not made you to be timid. God has given you the spirit of boldness, the spirit of boldness. You have to be bold and courageous. Uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse number 1 says, the, the wicked flee when no man pursues them, but the righteous are as bold bold as a lion. I want to pray for you this day that may God cause you to be bold as a lion. Until you have a lion's heart, you cannot have the lion's share. Praise the name of the Lord. Until you have the, until you have the lion's heart, you can never have the lion's share. Inside a believer lies the lion of Judah. Listen to me. Take the nature of God that is in you and begin to exercise that authority. The Bible says that there were four leapers in the Bible and they said, why should we stay here? Because if we stay here, we will die. Let us go. If Even if we go, they will kill us. But let us go. They, they were bold. They said, we will go. Nevertheless, if we stay or we go, our faith is known but as they began to go the bible says god amplified their steps because you have to be bold you have to be courageous you have to be bold to make maximum impact and the last one check your association because your company dictates who you are your company will dictate who you are love is a command but relationship is by choice god commands us to love one another even as christ loves the church but relationship is by choice because destiny is intentional. If you are not intentional about what God has called you, you will never make impact. Choose who you relate with wisely and associate with people that produce results. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13 verse number 20, he that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You need to understand this child of God. There are three phases in life and either way, if you're going to make impact, you must walk into them. Get the reason why you are existing. Find your season like the sons of Issachar. Find your season. Find your season. That means find your pillars. Find your team. Be planted in the promise. Be planted in the promises of God. And then the last one, identify that which God has called you to do. When you know why you are created, why you exist, you will begin to realize that your life can never be the same again. Do not be deceived. Evil communication will corrupt good morals according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse number 33. The last point as we close it up is the anointing. How do you make impact? Anointing. It is the anointing that makes the difference. Anointing is a supernatural empowerment that enables you to function. In other words, we call it the action to function. When you are anointed by God, it is the game changer. It is what separates men from other men. It is anointing that distincts people. It is anointing that makes people to become men of impact. It is the anointing that the Bible says breaks the yoke. Anointed people command territories. Anointed people are great in their, 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 their areas of calling. Even in the marketplace, anointed people, they make sales in, their, in the marketplace. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 105 verse number 14, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He, he reproved kings for their sake. Verse number 15 saying, touch not my anointed and do no harm to my prophets. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to understand that you are created by God to make impact. Whichever area God has called you into, I pray for you this day that may you enter into the realm of impact. May you enter into the season of impact. Whatever you touch, whatever you do in your house where your children are, I command by the anointing of God, let the power of God cause them to make impact. The Bible says, 
in Psalms 92 verse number 13 that those who are planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. I pray for you. When God put you in that place, may you cause impact. May you flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray with you this day, wherever you're watching me from. Maybe you're saying, man of God, everything I've been doing, I don't see any change. I don't see any impact. I have good news for you. God is causing you to cause that impact. Now I'm praying with you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, let the grace, the glory, the anointing for impact rest upon your child right now. Whatever they lay their hands to do, you have told us you'll bless the work of our hands. I pray for the work of their hands. I pray for their father. Families. I pray for their children. I pray for their jobs. King of glory, may they encounter you in a manner like never before. And I pray for that brother and sister who is giving their life to you. Father, may you lead them to a church where they will receive you as Lord and Savior, where they will be taught that Jesus is the only way, not other ways, but Jesus, the only way to the Father. I pray today in Jesus' name. And somebody say, Amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me. My name is Prophet Steve. I'm looking forward to you again uh, tomorrow, same time on this program. By the grace of God, shalom, shalom. See you then.